I do. Please state your name. Aka Jones. Mrs. Jones, are you aware that you are under oath? Uh-huh. Please answer yes or no. Okay. So are you aware that you are under oath? Yes. Mrs. Jones, how would you describe your present state? I'm still quite miserable. How long have you been miserable, Mrs. Jones? For a very long time. I remember that, that when I was nine... What, what happened, happened when you were nine? I saw a murder. You saw a murder? Where were you at that moment? At home. In the living room. So, from your living room, you saw a murder? Uh-huh. Yes. I'm sorry. What did you do when you saw that murder? I was shocked. And I screamed. Well, where were your parents? I screamed. My father came. Well, what did your father do? Did he call for help? No. Did you tell anyone else? My mother. Oh, did your mother call for help? No. No, she said I should forget it. That I would forget it. But you could not, could you? It kept coming back to you through the years. Uh-huh. Yes or no? Yes, it, it kept coming back to me all those years. All right, coming back to the present, Mrs. Jones, can you describe what happened to you recently? I saw a murder. You witnessed a murder? Uh-huh. Did you call for help? No. Did you call the police? No. You did not do anything, is that correct? Yes. Where were you at that moment? At home, in the living room. What were you doing? I don't remember exactly. Oh, well, please tell us what you do remember. Well, there, there were a lot of loud noises. Uh, my neighbor was washing his car across the street. And, and I, I, I was... Well, I, I was doing... something. And the television was on. Please continue. And suddenly I heard my daughter upstairs. Screaming. How old is your daughter, Mrs. Jones? Nine. She's nine. Is your daughter here, Mrs. Jones? I guess. Can you point her out? Amy? Amy? All right. Your daughter was upstairs. Why? Well, she was playing and watching television. And then she screamed. But it was so much a scream I screamed. The scream you screamed when you were nine when you witnessed that murder. And then, then suddenly I became so frightened, so, so afraid that she would become as miserable as I, I have been. All those years. Let me get this right. You were in your living room, you saw a murder, and at the same time your daughter screamed upstairs. Yes. Did you run to her? No. No, I, I, I couldn't move. I was shocked. And at that moment you realized... All those murders, I, I, I just couldn't bear it anymore. How could anybody witness all these? I'm sorry, Mrs. Jones. You said murders, plural. Yes. There were more. Yes, many more. And all those murders you witnessed, you didn't do anything. I felt more miserable. You did not call for help. No. 
You did not do anything. I couldn't do anything. You did not do anything. I did not do anything. I'll ask you again. You witnessed all those murders and you did not do anything. No, and finally I did. Finally I, I did this. Your Honor, at this time I'd like to submit videotapes marked People's Exhibits A through M, which are a selection of the murders Mrs. Jones witnessed and did not do anything. The child who just perished before your very eyes is just one of thousands of refugees who have fled the Viet Cong to this fertile valley. And to certain death, Everywhere I look, there done. are war casualties. Women crying, trying to find the bodies of their husbands These and are children. Orphans. Meanwhile, Parents sniper fire showers mercy. from the rooftop now they flee of the destroyed new threat. buildings. Cholera. The bomb that exploded the just 30 seconds ago destroyed this little village. And hundreds of people are searching see, desperately for survivors in the midst of the rubble. That if they are not going to keep shot, probably go this is Ripken Marks in... Oh, God, another... Dozens of people all around. Meanwhile, the bombing goes on and on, continuing... This is Diane Hammer. This is Martin Fay in the heart of Srebrenica, where the Richard fighting Marks continues. Dozens of people all around me are being shot as I speak. The piles of bodies keep crying every day, every hour. Continuing its random destruction. David Loper for NTR.